Hello everyone, in this video, we explore the laws applicable to a public charitable trust in India. Public charitable trusts play a vital role in Indian society by providing much needed social services. It is important for these trusts to be aware of legal framework that governs their operation to ensure they are functioning compliantly and effectively. Thus, to begin with, what is public charitable trust? A public charitable trust is legally recognized as entity established for the primary purpose of advancing charitable causes that benefit the general public or specific segments of society. These trusts are structured through a deed or declaration that outlines their objectives, management structure and beneficiaries. They are governed by board of trustees responsible for managing assets and ensuring alignment with charitable goals. These organizations operate on a non-profit basis, reinvesting any income generated from their activities back into furthering their charitable objectives. Transparency and accountability are crucial aspect of public charitable trust, as they are expected to maintain proper records, file annual reports, and adhere to regulatory requirements to ensure that funds are used effectively for the intended charitable purposes. Public charitable trust plays a vital role in promoting the welfare and development of society by addressing pressing social, educational, health, and environmental challenges. Moving towards the legal regulatory framework, there is no specific act for a public charitable trust. But as it comes under one type of trust, it is mainly governed under Indian Trust Act 1882. The Indian Trust Act 1882 provides a foundational framework for trusts in India. Section 3 defines a trust is an obligation annexed to the ownership of property and arising out of confidence reposed in and accepted by the owner or declared or, or accepted by him for the benefit of another or of another and the owner. Section 4 implies lawful purpose of the trust. According to Section 5 of this Act, trust can be of three types, public, private and for a charitable purpose. In this, the trust for a charitable purpose focus on endures such as education, healthcare and poverty elevation. Section 6 to 10 explains the creation of trust, including who may create trust, subject of trust, who may be beneficiary, and who may be trustee, respectively. Additionally, Section 50 prohibits trustees from charging for their services, emphasizing the selfless nature of their role in managing trust assets for a charitable purposes. Section 57 grants beneficiaries the right to inspect and obtain copies of instrument of trust. Section 57 grant beneficiaries Section 57 grant beneficiaries the right to inspect and obtain copies of the instrument of trust accounts and other relevant documents promoting transparency and accountability in trust operation Furthermore section 61 to 89 outline the duties and powers of trustees including obligation to act impartially prudently invest trust property and maintain proper accounts These duties ensure responsible stewardship of Trust assets, vital for the effective functioning and fulfillment of charitable objectives of public charitable trust. All this section of Indian Trust Act 1882 provide a robust legal framework that governs the establishment, operation and management of trust including public charitable trust in India. Apart from this, each state in India has its own public trust act, governing public charitable trust within that state. This act provides detailed framework for registration, administration, and regulation. When forming a public charitable trust, it is crucial to understand and comply with specific provision of State Public Trust Act. For example, in Maharashtra, the Bombay Public Trust Act of 1950 is a well-known law that applies to a public charitable trust. It makes it mandatory for these trusts to register and set out rules for managing their property. It also establishes the charity commissioner officers. It also established the Charity Commissioner's Office to supervise trust activities. Similarly, in Tamil Nadu, the Tamil Nadu Public Trust Act of 1929 governs public charitable trust focusing on registration, administration and regulation. In Gujarat, the Gujarat Public Trust Act of 1950 provides the legal framework for such trust, emphasizing, emphasizing legal benefit and detailing procedures for managing trust, property and finances. In Andhra Pradesh, the Charitable and Hindu Religious Institution Act of 1987 oversees both public charitable trust and Hindu religious institution, ensuring proper registration, management of properties, and administration. Likewise, in Karnataka, in Karnataka, the Karnataka Public Trust Act of 1915 regulates the public charitable trust, 
concentrating on registration, administration and ensuring they operate for a public benefit. These act plays a crucial role in ensuring transparency, accountability and proper functioning of public charitable trust in their respective states. In addition to Indian Trust Act and State Public Trust Act, several other laws are relevant to public charitable trust in India. The Income Tax Act of 1961 provides tax exemptions for public charitable trusts. That means that these trusts need not to pay any income tax. These exceptions can greatly help the trust financially to and allow them to use more resources for their charitable work. To qualify for this, they must register under the Income Tax Act and follow its rules on how they use their income and report it. The Registration Act of 1908 says that trust with a property worth more than a certain amount set by the state must register. Registration gives a trust legal recognition and, make it, and makes it easier for them to deal with property matters. The Foreign Contribution Regulation Act of 2008 regulates foreign donations that public charitable trusts receive. To comply, trust need, to comply, trusts need to register under this act and follow rules on how they get, use and report foreign funds. Depending on trust specific purpose, other acts might apply. For example, if the trust is for religious purpose, the Hindu Religious and Charitable Environments Act of 1951 or the Muslim Walk Act of 1923 might be relevant. If the trust proposes for environmental conversation, if the trust if the trust focuses on environmental conservation, the Environmental Protection Act of 1986 could apply. These additional acts could help ensure that trusts operate within the law and fulfill their intended purposes effectively. The legal framework governing charitable trust in India is not just about statutes and acts. Landmark cases have also played a significant role in shaping the interpretation and application of these laws. One of such cases is Ratilal Pananchan Gandhi vs. the State of Bombay and others 1954 where the issue was about the provision in the Bombay Public Trust allowing the Charity Commissioner to be appointed as a trustee even for religious trusts. The Supreme Court ruled that the provision infringed upon the right of religious denomination to manage their own affairs, highlighting the importance of religious freedom and autonomy in managing religious environments. Another significant case is Commissioner of Income Tax Kanpur v. Kamla Town Trust 1995, which focused on whether a trust form for a development of a specific area qualified as a public charitable trust. The Supreme Court emphasized the importance of a public benefit, stating that even if the trust benefits a specific locality, its purpose should ultimately serve the good public to be considered a public charitable trust. In 2022, the Supreme Court delivered two landmark judgment on exemption claimed by charitable institution, clarifying that charitable institution cannot engage in commercial activities beyond certain threshold even if undertaken for a public purpose. This judgment helps to define the boundaries between charitable activities and commercial ventures for tax purposes. Another notable case is Assistant Commissioner of Income Tax v. Ahmedabad Urban Development Authority 2017 where the issue deal with the Urban Development Authority claiming tax exemption for its public welfare activities. The court held the limitations on co commercial activities for a charitable tax benefit, emphasizing that institutional commercial activities should be minimum and directly related to public charitable purposes. These cases provide important insight into interpretation and application of laws governing public charitable trusts, ensuring clarity and accountability in their operation. In conclusion, public charitable trusts play a vital role in our society by addressing social needs and promoting welfare. Understanding the legal framework governing these trusts is crucial for the effective operation. From Indian Trust Act to state-specific public trust acts and other relevant laws, complying with regulation ensures transparency, accountability and the fulfillment of their charitable objectives. So let's continue to support and empower these trusts as they work towards the betterment of our communities.